Our daughter is such a, uh, a maniac with dogs and she loves uh, animals as well, but we have to remind her that Gidget's not a stuffed animal and that she's actually, she's a living form and that she can't pick her up all the time and smother her as much as she wants like a stuffed animal, but uh, hopefully she'll learn one day. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Burtka and this is my pet tale. We have two dogs, one very, very old dog named Watson and he is a Labradoodle Wheaton mix. And we also have a very young dog named Gidget, and she is another mutt, a uh, Bichon Poodle sort of Muppet character. Watson is no longer living with us, unfortunately. He's at a geriatric farm up in uh, Niagara because uh, he does can't do stairs and we live in a walk up brownstone so he's having a hard time there but uh, we get pictures regularly and talk to him uh, on FaceTime but our other dog Gidget is from Thailand and she is amazing and she's sort of settled down now um, she's a sweet loving dog and we have a blast with her this Well, uh, Watson was uh, from a rescue uh, shelter in Los Angeles called Karma Rescue, and we got him when he was about a year old. They found him on the streets of LA walking around. He was gray and brown, and then they gave him a bath and found out he was white. His personality is just wonderful. His name originally was Happy Dog, uh, and we thought, we don't necessarily love that name. So uh, we changed it to Watson, and it was Neil and I's first dog together. He's about 16 years old, uh, and he's still kicking. He's pretty good for his age. Um, and then Gidget, we got through North Shore Animal League through Beth Stern, Howard and Beth Stern are friends of ours, and we contacted her because we wanted to get a cat, but our, our daughter, Harper, is very allergic. So she said, well, what about a dog? So we called up North Shore and they found this dog, Gidget, that was from Thailand. And she's brought here to New York to be part of our family. We ended up just coming up, you know, we love Sherlock Holmes and, and I thought Watson fit him, but he looks more like a Falcor. If you've ever seen the Neverending Story, he looks very much like that. that animal creatures, so his middle name is Falcor, Watson Falcor, Berka Harris. Um, and then Gidget, we just went through lots of girl names and, you know, Gidget sort of suited her. She's spunky and fun and cute, very much like Sally Field was when she was a, a beach blanket girl. So, <laughs> Gidget suited her. Uh, and Gidget is just hilarious. She is in charge of everybody in the house. She runs the household. Uh, she'll do this thing like if you're on your phone in bed or something like that, she'll come up to you, put her paw on your cell phone and just right there on your chest and say, you know, not time for cell phone, time for me. She'll, she'll just want to be right in the middle of it. Our kids are such animal lovers. It's beyond our, our son. Uh, is going to have a farm. Uh, he wants to be a farm and inventor and also have a puppy a puppy farm. Very much like Beth Stern has a cat farm, he wants to raise puppies and give puppies out to people uh, who, who need dogs. And he loves, he loves dogs. He, he gets very emotional if he sees a dog's hurt or, or if they need a home. He's always trying to rescue dogs to get another pet in our house, but we're good for now. It's also really fun to, to see the kids training the dogs. They, Gidget's a bit of a circus dog. She, she can roll over, she can dance in circles, she can go through hoops of your arm, she can jump over uh, couch pillows. So the kids have been having a really fun time training them and making her do circus tricks. We always have been dog people. Neil grew up with dogs, I grew up with dogs. I had a dog before Neil, he met me and I had a, a child dog. Uh, and he sort of adopted that dog, Fred. He was a Cairn Terrier and very feisty and so smart, beyond smart. So that was our sort of first dog together and then Watson we got um, as a couple. We've always been animal people. 
Um, we've had hamsters, we've had we have fish, we've had uh, a guinea pig. I mean, it's been the, the amount of animals. We're hoping to have a farm outside of New York and raise some pygmy goats and chickens and things like that. That's, that's the goal, uh, to have animals around us. Very important. I think they have a keen sensibility that if you're having a bad day, I think they can sense that and they can come up to you and there's a, such thing as pet therapy. So I, I think that um, they, they can heal uh, with just the look in their eyes and, and being able to pet them. But I guess from the moment that we bring an animal into our family, they become part of the family. I think animals are so important in, in the world of family and, and, and they become like another child to you. They're so loving and they just, no matter what, no matter if you have a bad day, they'll be right there by your side and, and, and can cheer you up in an instant. Oh man, Gidget and Watson have made my life better in so many ways. There's a light that, that animals bring into the family and there is such a special bond you create with your family pet. I, I can't imagine not having them in my life. You know, I really don't trust people who don't like animals. Um, and there's something to say about that because animals bring so much joy in the world.